As stimulus is getting closer, the markets are going up. Even bond yields are going up, but that hasn't stopped the stock market from going up. Fresh off the information that the stimulus package has passed the Senate this weekend and most likely will pass the House sometime tomorrow and be sent to Joe Biden's desk for signature. Basically, all the markets are now excited that there's going to be another influx of cash into the markets. Hey guys, this is your $1,400 stimulus check update, third stimulus package update. And there's a couple of things that I'm going to outline in this video. Just a real quick update on the timeline in case you haven't been in case you haven't been following that. And number two, we're going to talk about, and number two, we're going to talk about something that has been now discussed more and more by Democratic senators, that being monthly stimulus checks. Hey everyone, my name is Randy and welcome back to the Late Night Grind. And this is a new YouTube channel that I just started a couple of months ago, been covering these stimulus package updates. So if you're new to the channel and you want to support it, best thing you can do, hit that subscribe button, smash the bell notification icon, and it really helps out with that YouTube algorithm. So if you do that, I greatly appreciate appreciate it. So let's get into it. So it looks like reports are that tomorrow the House of Representatives will pass, will essentially repass uh, this stimulus package that the Senate passed over the weekend, and it'll go to Joe Biden's desk for signature possibly uh, possibly Tuesday night, but from what I've been reading, it'll most likely be Wednesday for his signature. He will then sign it into law and signal the IRS to then start sending out stimulus checks. Time frames from what I read have ranged anywhere from two to four days after Joe Biden's signature that the IRS can begin sending out direct deposits. So there's a possibility that by Friday they might actually start sending out the first batch. If not, it will most likely happen the following week uh, on Monday the 22nd and go from there. Now they're probably doing this in batches like they have for the last two, although it's going to happen much quicker than the last two. But in any case, keep an eye on your bank accounts for those direct deposits to hit. Uh, most likely, if you don't see it in the first two weeks, then that means you may be one of the ones getting a paper check, in which case you might have to wait an extra couple of weeks because of just because they start that a little bit later in the process and it has to go through the physical mail, etc. And I thought something interesting that I just heard about these stimulus checks was they did a poll uh, asking people what they're planning on using these stimulus checks for. And I thought it was really interesting because I've done polls like this on my channel in the past. If you go to the community tab on, on my channel and scroll down, I have a couple of polls asking people what your plans are for these stimulus checks. And I've been asking you guys that, what uh, what you're gonna be using them for from the beginning. Anyway, I compared what when I asked these questions to this particular poll that just came out. And supposedly a good percentage of people, and it mainly skews to the younger side, plan on taking about half of this stimulus package money and putting it into the markets. Didn't go into much more detail other than that, but that is one of the reasons that the Dow Jones has been up, uh, it touched being up 600 points today, even as bond yields went up to 1.6%, which usually when bond yields go up, it pushes the stock market down, but it didn't do so today. Plenty of positive vibes going on in the markets because of this anticipated influx of billions and billions of dollars. So if you have a 401k, you might wanna take a look at it just to see what's going on. And I also read not just one, not just two, not just three, but more than 10 now, Democratic senators have been writing and going on television and talking about what their plans are for this fourth stimulus check package. Now the number on the stimulus check package I've read could be anywhere from three to $4 trillion that they're trying to push through. And there potentially could be a whole bunch of stuff in there, including monthly stimulus checks. Now I've talked about this in my other videos several times, and a lot of people say there's no way. They had so much trouble passing this third stimulus package. They had to go through the Reconciliation Act. There were even a couple Democratic senators that just weren't, they weren't even voting for $15 minimum wage. How on earth are they gonna pass something that big? Well. Doing that, they could either do the reconciliation process again, or they could get rid of the filibuster. And the filibuster means they need 60 votes in the Senate to pass something, which means they're going to need at least 10 Republicans on board. Highly doubt you're going to get 10 Republicans on board with something that's two, three, four trillion dollars. It includes $15 minimum wage hikes and a whole bunch of other spending projects. Well, the Democrats thought they had an answer because recently Joe Manchin came out and he kind of made some statements about uh, easing his stance on the filibuster, meaning uh, before he'd never wanted to get rid of it. Um, the report said, well, now he's open to getting rid of it. Well, he's actually not. What he was talking about was actually making it more difficult. Like, for instance, if someone wants to stand up and speak for hours and hours and hours and potentially days and days and days in order to block something or delay something, which is what they used to do, 
he'd be open to something like that, but not necessarily stripping away the whole filibuster entirely. And not only that, Joe Biden has now mentioned twice now that he is not in favor of stripping away the filibuster. That would actually be the biggest hindrance. So it, for this fourth stimulus package, the only way I see it actually going through is using this reconciliation process. Once again, it would have to go right down party lines once again, but that is a possibility because there were plenty of Democrats that were against the $15 an hour minimum wage hike. When we're talking about this fourth stimulus plan, most likely it's going to be a couple of months before anything would even get close to any kind of vote. As these stimulus packages enter the economy and really try to get it ramped up, as the coronavirus really recedes and daily cases and deaths are just uh, really start to hit bottom, which they are starting to now, you're gonna see the economy open up, you're gonna see the unemployment numbers go down, the need for that stimulus package is not going to be felt as great from the public in general. But some of the things that were rejected by Senate Democrats, like the $15 an hour minimum wage and the student loan debt forgiveness, uh, specific, specifically the $15 an hour minimum wage hike, they said, well, they're not necessarily against it. They're just against it now when the economy is trying to recover. But if the economy starts to recover at a quick enough pace, that could be the trigger they're looking for to actually put it in a bill, which of course will include a whole bunch of other things, including monthly stimulus checks, that's right. Not just Oct not just Alexandria Octasio-Cortez calling for it now. Now Democratic Senator Ed Markley from Massachusetts has reinvigorated this discussion, this talk around monthly stimulus checks. He was actually calling for $2,000 monthly stimulus checks back in 2020, and he's doing it again. But not only that, he has a lot more support this time. You have the progressives, uh, the, uh, the AOCs, the Bernie Sanders really pushing this now. If they get enough support, that could get enough media attention to warrant being put in this fourth stimulus bill package. So I'd like to know your thoughts. Is this possible? We, we're seeing all of the fighting and all of the discussions and uh, how long it took to get this third stimulus package through without, without any Republicans. Do you think it would even be possible to put a fourth stimulus plan into place? Do you think the economy would be recovered enough by then? Do you think the unemployment rate would be at a good position then to not warrant this, which is basically what Republicans are claiming right now? And if any of that spending worries you in terms of the coming inflation, which it will be coming, it's just a matter of how temporary it will be. Um, and not only that, tax hikes. Because one thing we know that the Democrats like to do more than spend money is tax your money. Also, don't forget to let me know in the comments section below, are you gonna be investing in the markets when these stimulus checks go out, which for some families, this could be significant, significant money. Are you going to take a portion of it and actually start to build a savings account? Are you going to start to build an investment account, a retirement account? Let me know in the comment section below what your plans are. Are you going to take 2% of it, 5% of it, 50% of it, all of it. And if you want to know one of the safest ways that you can actually start doing that, go ahead and click on this video that's being shown to you right here. I go over a very basic, simple way to get started doing that. So if you would, go ahead, check out that video, watch it through to the end, and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. I really appreciate all your support. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, go ahead, click that subscribe button, make it official, and join the Late Night Grind community. All right, thanks guys. Appreciate you watching, and I'll see you on the next video.